Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Woods and Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're continuing the hunt through this ginormous coin collection we've recently bought, one of the biggest ones we've ever shown on our YouTube channel. The coins featured in today's video will filter onto our website and eBay shop, so do check out the links in the description if you spot something you like the look of. If you do spot something that's not on our website though, feel free to get in touch with us about making a purchase of any of these coins. So, let's see what we find in this first box. We'll start off with this white box. Inside, we have got a five pound silver proof coin. This is to mark the christening of Prince George. Uh, this is actually a Piaford coin, so if we pop him out, a PA food coin is one that is double the thickness of a standard silver proof coin, so you do get extra silver in your coin there, but uh, that's a wonderful start. And then in the smaller box, we've got a silver proof one pound coin from 2002 that describes it as having a special frosted finish. So this will be slightly different from a standard one that you'd get, but uh, an interesting variety on this lovely coin. And in this box, this is one of my favourite five pound coins. We've got a lovely porch to the Queen there. This is the 2003 coronation anniversary. The porch to the Queen is stylized similar to the writing on the reverse of the coin. It's a lovely one off portrait of her. Another big white box in here. We have another Piaford silver proof five pound coin marking the christening of Prince George. And then in this box, we have got a 2008 silver proof one pound coin of the year when the new definitive designs came out with the shield of the Royal Arms too. I'm sure every collector's got a handful of these stashed away somewhere, Britain's first decimal coins. Uh, oh, they're back to front, but uh, it is the lower denomination coins ready for decimalization. Are we going to get another duplicate in this box? Let's have a look. So yeah, it is again, although this is a silver proof one, this is not the silver PA fed version of the coin. And the last one for this handful, we have got another silver proof one pound coin. Again, this has got a special frosted finish. So again, looks a little bit different and intriguing. It's the three lines of England. Continuing on with another big box. As you can see, we've got the Olympic and Paralympic symbols. This one is the 2012 Paralympic silver PA foot five pound coin. A very cool coin for sure. On to the next box. We've got the Coronation Anniversary five pound coin again. This one is just a silver proof one, not a PA foot one. Head to the next box. We've got yet another one of these silver PA foot versions of the five pound coin for the christening of Prince George. And there's a little red box. Another pound coin from 2000, silver proof PA for version. It's my favorite pound coin as well, the Red Dragon of Wales. Lots of coin we haven't seen so far. So this coin marks the 60th anniversary of the Queen's coronation. It is again a silver proof PA for coin. Into the next box. Oh, very nice. This marks the Queen's golden jubilee. We can see this lovely one-off portrait used for her on this coin. And the last coin for this handful, another silver proof PA for one pound coin, 1998. So we've got again, the Royal Arms. Got an intriguing little folder here. Oh, we've got a silver proof version of the Victoria Cross, the medals, 50 pence coin. We've got an intriguing little black box here. Ah, we've got some silver Olympic 50Ps. Very, very cool. So we've got basketball, cycling, and Olympic rowing as well. These are very, very cool with a oh, 30,000 mintage, higher than I thought it was, but uh, these are very desirable coins. Another one of these slim boxes. Oh, again, another three silver proof Olympic 50P coins. I think that's the same sports we saw in the last box, bizarrely. And we've got a lovely big box here. We have got, oh, very nice. So this is a silver proof coin set minted in 2008 for what would become our new definitive coin designs. You can see the shield of the Royal Arms on the round pound there, and you can make that design out of all the circulating coins, which is very cool. Another big box here. Oh, that's the Nelson and Trafalgar five pound silver proof. Oh, again, PA Ford coins. Some lovely designs on these ones. Another big box here. Again, it's the 2008 Shield of the Royal Arms Silver Proof set. And then lastly for this handful, oh, it's another one of these sets. Uh, you'd usually have four one pound coins. I guess m maybe they were, you'd buy the first one with the box and then fill it up with the subsequent releases and it looks like we just got the one uh, Red Dragon of Wales in this set. Onto the next box. 
Oh, we've got the Florence Nightingale. Silver proof PA for two pound coin. I do love silver proof two pound coins. I love the way that the gold outer ring really makes this design pop. And in the next box, ah, there we go, five pound coin. Again, it's a PA Ford coin. And this was to mark the Queen Mother's 100th birthday. Lovely white box here. Ah, oh, so this is the five pound coin which marks the wedding of Prince William and Catherine. And then in this box, Ooh, very nice. The Mary Rose. Again, it's a PA Ford silver proof two pound coin. This is a lovely coin. One you might find in your change if you're very, very lucky. We've got quite a big box here. Inside it is another box, of course. And again, it's another four coin one pound set uh, with just the oak and rose of England for this one. Uh, this is another silver PA Ford pound coin. Once more, another green box. We've got another silver PA for five pound coin marking the Queen Mother's 100th birthday. And then in this box, it's another silver proof PA for Florence Nightingale two pound coin. Into the next box. Oh, it's one of these London Olympic Games countdown five pound coins. So for a number of years, building up to the opening of the Olympic Games in 2012, these coins were released. You can see hidden in the design the number one. So this was released in 2011 with one year to go until the Olympic Games started. And this is just a silver proof one, not a PA for one. And then lastly, for this handful, we have another box inside a box. Oh, lovely. So 2010's silver proof PA Ford coin set. So we've got the restoration of the monarchy five pound coin, uh, the girl guiding 50 pence, Belfast and London on the round pound coins, and then Florence Nightingale on the two pound coin. Next up, we've got a much smaller box. And it contains, oh, it's the Queen Mother's 90th birthday silver proof five pound coin. And in this box, Another the countdown to the Olympic Games, so where's the number? So if we put the coin the right way around, you can make out the number two. So this was released in 2010, two years before the Olympic Games began, and this is a silver PA Ford version of the coin. Moving on then, we've got another round pound coin. It's a PA Ford one, so again, double the thickness, bit more silver in it. This is the uh, UK cities set, so four different coins for the different capital cities of the UK. This one is for Cardiff, obviously being in Wales. On to the next box. Ah, oh, very, very nice. This is the uh, presidency of the Council of Ministers. It's a dual dated coin because the UK's presidency spanned from 1992 into 1993 as well. Uh, this coin was put in circulation and there were less put in circulation than of the Kew Gardens 50p, which we all know is the one to find. But uh, this is an older, larger size 50p. They weren't resized until 1997. So you wouldn't actively find these coins out in circulation anymore. Definitely not this one as well, because this is a silver PA Ford 50p. Absolutely stunning. Into the next box. Again, Queen Mother's 90th birthday silver proof coin. Into the next box, we have got 2014 silver proof PA Ford coin set. We've got some lovely commemorative coins in this set. We've got the Queen Anne five pound coin, Commonwealth Games 50 pence. We've got two more of these floral uh, one pound coins, Trinity House and Lord Kitchener on the two pound coin. What a lovely set of coins this is. Another big white box. And there's once again the christening of Prince George. So this is just the silver brief one, not PA Ford. And the last coin from this handful, 1992 PA Ford silver proof 10 pence piece. Wow. That's a nice coin. We've got one last pile of coins for today's video, starting off with a 1990 silver proof one pound coin. We've got the crowned leak on this one. That's the Welsh version. In this box, 1991. This is the crowned flax, so this represented Northern Ireland. A little black box here. Oh, I think I know what this is going to be. Let's have a look inside. Very nice. We found ourselves some gold. This is a quarter sovereign from 2009. Very, very cool. In the next box. Oh, very nice. It's another PA Ford uh, Presidency, the Council of Ministers, 50 pence. And then silver PA Ford, five pence coin from 1990. Wow, very cool, isn't it? Inside this box, we've got a very nice two pound coin. This is the Olympic Rio handover silver proof two pound coin. It is again a PA Ford one, so you get a plenty more silver in this coin. Into the next box, I think we're gonna get another one. So inside, we have another 2009 quarter sovereign. It's amazing how much detail they've got on that tiny little coin. We've got a slightly bigger box next. It's another PA Ford set of the Lord Nelson and Trafalgar five pound coins. And then 
another 1990 Silverproof Paford 5 pence coin. In this lovely red box, oh, it's a two coin set, so it's the 5 pence coin. So this marks the change from the larger old size of 5 pence coin down to the size that we see in circulation today. We might get a bit of duplication here. We certainly are, but they're still lovely coins to see. And then we're going to wrap off today's video with this 2015 Silverproof Paford coin set. So inside, we've got all these lovely commemorative coins. So again, they're all PA Ford coins. We've got Winston Churchill, then the Battle of Waterloo, the Battle of Britain, Magna Carta, and the World War I Navy Centenary. Some absolutely stunning coins. But let me know in the comments what your favorite coins from this collection has been. Probably for me, I'd pick the Quarter Sovereigns. They're just so small, but still so intricately detailed and beautiful coins. As ever, check out the links in the description across to our website for some of the coins that are featured in today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. We've got plenty more coins to get through. We've already had two videos digging through this whole collection. It's gonna be fascinating stuff. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop on online store. And I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.